Okay, one more question involving collisions to see if you really get the whole one dimensional collision. The five kilogram object moving to the right at four is going to hit this at rest three kilogram object. And the question is not what if it's elastic, what if it's inelastic. The question is what's the most energy that can possibly be lost? What's the max energy lost during this collision? And I've left it up to you as the student to understand that the most energy is lost when they stick together. So you're going to assume this is a perfectly inelastic collision and solve it. Even though I hope you understand that it doesn't have to be a perfectly inelastic collision, no matter what type of collision, a lot of energy is going to be absorbed. But the maximum that can be absorbed is when they stick together. So that's when V1 prime equals V2 prime. So we'll look at momentum because that's really easy. We've got 25 times 4 plus 0 equals 5 plus 3 times V, the speed after the collision. So that means that 20 over 8 is equal to V and V is 2.5 meters per second. No problem. That's how fast they go if they were to stick together. That's how fast they are going at the second they have the same speed, whether they stick together or not. I'm making it complicated for no reason here. They stick together, 2.5 meters per second, easy. So what's the kinetic energy that they have? Well, before the collision, the total kinetic energy was just a half, five, times four squared. That's 40 joules. That's the kinetic energy that the five kilogram object had before the collision. If they are both traveling at 2.5, then their kinetic energy is a half times the mass of both of them, because they're both moving, which is 8 times 2.5 squared, and that's 25 joules. So, at most, the most energy lost, the most energy that can be lost is obviously 40 minus 25 is 15 joules. In part B before, I asked this question as a percent. So what's the percent that can be lost? 25 out of 40. Okay. So as a percent, as a percent, that's 25 out of 40. And that is 62.5 percent lost. Which means that if I asked you how much could be lost as a percent? The maximum percent is 62.5. It's impossible for these guys to lose, say, 70% of their kinetic energy because then they wouldn't have enough energy left to be moving at 2.5 meters per second, which would mean they wouldn't have enough speed to have enough momentum to have as much momentum as they need to have. The law of conservation of momentum has to be obeyed. So they can't lose any more energy because they'd go too slow for momentum. So there is a minimum there and that happens in a perfectly inelastic collision. So a perfectly inelastic collision does not mean they lose all their energy, it means they lose their most, that they can possibly lose without violating the law of conservation of momentum.